No. And that's huge because we don't want it. I don't think so. I mean, the difference between like a 7 and an 11 seed could be facing uh, Ohio State. And we are back here in the six point. Uh, Saginaw Valley leading on 4 to 1. Uh, Dexter Banks and number 18 going down for WKU off the opening rush. Team catch there keeps, uh, I believe that's Phelps in for uh, Sag Valley. Who do you guys think? Penn State, maybe? Someone? Aaron Hedges tries for a catch and misses just low. And a catch by number 25 takes out number 11, Austin Debray. You guys think you can take it? Yes, you can take it. Zach Valley, I think, will uh, come back a lot more aggressive on this point. It's a great block by Evan Bema, saves number 14, Chase Bell. Lepinski going out there, on, I believe a shot by Tanner Boatwright. Red Rice resetting the shot clock for WKU. Sac Valley being a lot more aggressive at this point, but Western just staring down the barrel of a gun, so to speak. Absolutely fearless, which you did not see in, uh, in that first half. It was very much deer in the headlights. And number three, Brett Rice goes down there on a hard head to the chest. He got 24 balls from that a catch there. Uh, who, I'm not sure who that eliminated. Um, we got ten thousand dollars. So we think absolutely. Number 22, um, a great kill. Three Western players go down there on that to solve. So you, you ask for a certain amount, and you get every club of what they ask for. And this year, every club got 60%, which is what you need to do around three players. Yeah. No, I would love I would love to take a charter bus to the next one. Dylan Council with a catch there, a ball that kind of sailed on number 81 for Sag Valley. Yeah, I thought that's their ball for the self one as well. They they bring brings back that number 18. 2700 for the bus. Number 13, Evan Bemis goes down there uh, as it was on that onslaught, as does number 18. Western down to three players here Dylan Callison, Nick Johnson, Andrew Dockery. Let's see if any of them can make a catch right now to kind of salvage this point. Andrew Dockery tries for the catch and misses. What time is that? It's just going to be whenever everything ends. Okay. I mean, it's got it's about three hours. It's going to be a long time. Because there's a lot of stuff to go through. Exactly. Is it just one representative from this club? Um, that one is Sean. Great wow, catch what right a catch here by, by 25, 25 Milan. Who has the worst haircut of all time, but it's, it's, has made some really great catches. Tries for his third, but just can't quite bring it in. Great effort, though. Western is down to one lone hilltopper, number two, Dylan Callison. Sorry about that, Josh. It's all right. You haven't missed much. Sag Valley's come back out and slammed the door right back on Western's face. Dylan Callison hanging in there, and WKU number two provoking him a little bit. 
Um, probably not a wise thing. That is a terrible idea. And his throw was so off. It was actually wasn't even close to actually hit the net, like 10 feet from the line that it's shot clock violation. Yeah. And now you have one of the, uh, from what I can see, one of their best catchers at this point has been on it. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I heard that while I was on it. So now you have number two, one of the best catchers, who has made, the, in my opinion, a very uneducated decision. And now you have some of the best throwers in their game. Uh, for in the entire league, just that yeah, will be absolutely done. You, for that you have at least seven balls coming your way, I would say. At least, um, yeah. I would say I give number two a one in ten shot as a buy. Ten percent. I say one in twenty. One in twenty. Five. In 20. I give a five percent chance. Five percent chance. I give ten percent chance of surviving. By surviving, I mean like actually him getting out. Not yeah. Like that. And look, he throws his arm out. And there you go. That'll do it. There you go. Sag Valley goes up five to one. We will see you guys back here in the seventh.